I am a first year university student and I'm studying economics and politics. I'm currently in my first year of sixth form studying politics, French and history. Energy security strategy, which is electric charging points, the circular economy roadmap, and the demand for fossil fuels to remain in the ground. The idea that vegan food is good. Home insulation. How can young people stay motivated to campaign for the environment? I'm trying to do practical things locally. The wonderful work being done by Green New Deal Rising. With the rising cost of electricity disproportionately affecting children and young people with disabilities and special needs. Litter picking on the college field. On whole school climate education. Improper um, uh, renewables. Offshore. Wind. Families who are struggling in the most deprived areas. Encouraging more safe cycling lanes away from traffic. Bickering about what's right and what's wrong. It's been happening locally to encourage cycling and walking. Casting paper and cardboard. So Encouraging or working on policy to reduce the amount of plastic packaging used on food. Improve recycling participation and collaboratively raise funds to implement a better recycling system in Brighton, Sussex and beyond. Climate protests. Encouraging use of recycling in the school. Why at COP26 did we not make punishments if we don't meet our climate goals? The issues surrounding lack of support for students to implement green initiatives at their institution. And I'm more than happy to offer any of the schools a visit to the Veolia tip in Hove to have a look at what Veolia does. As Get Veolia to change uh, their systems. I do think that perhaps it's time that the three of us perhaps come together with uh, council representatives and see what, what we can do as a group in terms of bringing pressure both on Veolia and on government. In this stupid situation where we're not able to do what most people in the city really want to do. I, I certainly think we should, we should have a conversation between the three of us. Let's then look at our systems and actually work together, I agree with colleagues, because that's the only way we can move this forward. My office will be in touch with the other two and we find a time that we'll get together, probably up in, up in London, where we'll have a conversation about this, uh, how we move forward, uh, and we'll invite Veolia in uh, and, and take it from there. But we'll let you all know uh, the progress. I make this commitment to any students who are residents of Hove or go to schools that are based in Hove, and that's that I'll work with you to try and find funding on any of these schemes that you come up with. Keep pushing politicians, even though it seems like the national leaders take no action or too little action. It will come eventually. I think we are your champions, you know, so use us, use all of us and all our connections and contacts and, and, and knowledge. That, uh, that as MPs, we're always willing to help you if there are small pots of money that, that can be found. If you work with the right people at the right time, it can progress can be made. So don't lose heart. Just please know that the public is absolutely on your side. Now, now you're understanding the realities of dealing with politicians.